What's going on guys, Mitch here, and today we're taking a look at a couple items sent courtesy of Santic Cycling. Now, uh, if you guys haven't heard of these, they are uh, overseas, and uh, you know, we're coming at you with some pretty cool value propositions for pricing. So, I'm not going to go into detail, uh, you know, there'll be a link below, check out their website, uh, super affordable cycling clothing, and I just wanted to take a look at some of these items and uh, provide an initial reaction on what uh, the quality is like and uh, form factor and whatnot and kind of give you an idea of what I think. So a couple items here as well as a pair of bibs. I will do the bibs first uh, which I have opened as you can obviously see <laughs> it's in a different box but um, let's crack into those real quick here and then go into the frosted stuff. Um, Let's take a look. And remind, just a quick reminder, these are casual conversations, but more than anything, um, I believe the sizes on these are really, really big, seemingly. But it's, remember, it's, a, it's, a, it's an imported brand, so the U.S. sizes tend to be a lot bigger for more of a small size that we're used to. So, for example, a double XL here would be more like a large uh, normally. So, anyway. Anyway, let's take a look at the bibs at the bibs. So starting off, I believe, let's make sure we got a front. So I think these guys were a triple 3XL and they definitely feel like a, probably an XL. Um, pretty cool. So Santic Cycling got that logo on the side, which looks great. Uh, no issues there. It's got a pocket as well, which is always good for like holding a phone or whatever. Um, I always appreciate that kind of stuff, especially if like you're riding and you want maybe like an overshort and you just want some security to put your phone or keys or wallet or something. Uh, on the other side here, and it looks like on both sides, we actually have some extra illumination at night. So we've got some reflective strips which would be on the side. And as you're riding, remember that, uh, that uh, reflective strip is going to be kind of moving up and down. So it kind of provides extra visibility versus like a fixed line up your back or something. So that is pretty cool. On the inside, let's take a look here. So the grippers look good, pretty standard. I'm kind of trying to figure out why. So we've got the super, um, I guess this is where your reflective strip is. And on the inside, we've got a couple seams here. Not a big fan of that, but uh, it is what it is. Um, typically around your leg, you want kind of an overall one band, not another couple seams. But uh, yeah, you know, for what that is, that'll do the trick. No problems there. Uh, same on the other side. And I will turn these inside, don't take a look here. Let's go to the, the back end. Got a big old pad, which is good. In terms of the stitching, hopefully I can get a close up on that for you guys. Take a look. Uh, pretty standard. Like it's uh, obviously looks like a machine made bib. I don't see a whole lot of uh, difference between the stitching. And then this is the hardest part right here, that seam where you kind of get four different quadrants put together. That actually looks like it's done really well. <clears throat> and then on the inside, let's take a look at that chamois and let's take a look. This is where the magic happens. So that's kind of cool. Got a little bit of a logo in there, which looks sharp. Uh, it's a big chamois and here we go. So we've actually got Kind of a front portion which kind of keeps your uh, your boys nice and warm but it also provides uh, when you are leaning up on the saddle and you're, you're moving forward on the on the front provides a little extra comfort there pretty standard i'd say chamois wise like it basically just looks like a seat right so ventilation down the middle that's important uh, it's not floating like an asos one where the sides here and here would be cut so the whole thing could move around. It doesn't have that. This is more of a Rafa style. Super firm, dense, I'd say that's probably in the 10 to 12 mil kind of range. I don't know the specs on it offhand, but it's definitely thick and dense. Probably in line with like a Suki or like a Sugoi level. Stitching's done well. They are hand cut because I am seeing variances around the edge. So that's good to provide that additional work. Everything looks double and triple stitched. Hopefully you can see that. Pretty sharp stitches, looks good. 
I shouldn't use the word sharp with stitches, but uh, pretty standard. And then on the inside, on the smaller stuff, we have a couple, a couple loose threads, which is kind of normal for a price point short, like that. But otherwise, you know what? Put put together really well. Now on the straps, these are very similar to my Lacole. In fact, uh, I would say identical to the Lacole strap, and there's no issues with them. Um, you know, in my videos, I've talked about how ASOS, I, I like that because it's a really heavy duty strap. Well, these are gonna be a lot more breathable than an ASOS strap, which is uh, for a lot of cyclists what they're looking for. So time will tell on how long that stays nice and stretchy. And they got a nice little logo there too. That's a nice little touch. Always like that kind of stuff. Otherwise, yeah, solid, solid pair of bibs at a really, really solid, attractive price point. In terms of what it's made of, do we have an English? They're cycling for freedom. I always like looking at the tag to see what they're made of. So there you go, 20% elastine made in China, 80% polymid. So I think that's very Lacole-esque in terms of material, like the Lacole Pro model. It, it, uh, it feels exactly like Lacole in terms of the, uh, the material on the Pro line. So that in conjunction with Let's be honest, these straps, I would say that uh, it's really targeting Lacole. Like that's who I would put it up against in terms of quality. So that is the bib. Let's take a look at a couple other things. We've got a couple jerseys here and a pair of socks. Uh, let's go take a look at the socks. I don't know how important that is, but pretty standard performance pair of socks. No grippers. Let's take a look at the toe box. We do have, uh, looks like a little bit of, is there a seam there? I don't know, it's kind of tucked, tucked to the side. So it's actually one piece that's rolled down around the toe, which is nice. And then sewn on the, uh, on the top where your toe isn't smart. So typically for me, that's where I would be failing. The uh, pair of socks, and they've done away with that, which is good. Quality pair of socks. I don't think these are Merino or anything, as it say. Um, maybe you can look at that and tell me what that is, but uh, uh, Santic, whatever, RMB, that's the price. I don't see a tag, and normally these would have a tag on them, so pretty standard cycling sock. Definitely would wear these with a nice pair of white shoes. No issues there. Can never have too many socks, as you guys know. And then into the jersey. Which one should we go with here, guys? Any preferences? I think we're gonna do, uh, let's do the white one. Are they the same jersey, first of all? 190, 185. So I think those are the model numbers. If we look here, 185 slash 100, so 2XL and 3XL. Um, I will probably give one of these away in the comments. If you guys want to leave a comment, I will do a random generated draw and give one of these guys away. Let's take a look. I like the packaging, very Rafa-esque. And I'll say this, this one uh, grabs my attention a little more than I was expecting. This is a really, feels like high quality. Actually feels very high quality. Santic Cycling. That looks cool. Really, really bright white. And then we've got down here, I love when we have like little Easter eggs in the bottom of a jersey like that. Cycling for freedom, awesome. I think I'm more impressed by this jersey. Love that we have name tags. You know, if you're a team and you're buying lots of these things and washing them, you wanna know which one's yours. Uh, so let's get started on the jersey. So 2XL, this is probably about my size, which would be like a large normally in an ASOS. Um, I've already shown that, which would be on the bag itself. Care card, instructions, nothing too crazy. Um, let's look at the neckline here. So we've kind of got a couple different materials going on here. So. Around the edge, I'm trying to get the camera to focus here. There we go. Around the edge, we've got a nice rolled and actual kind of like a soft neck liner. And then on the front, that continues along. 
The zipper is tucked in, which is nice. Now, does it have a zipper lock? Let's see. It does have a zipper lock, so if you guys don't know, a zipper lock, when the tab is down, it will not pull, which is a really good feature. So tabs up, it'll move, tab down, it locks. I like that. So let's get this opened up. Take a look on the inside. Yeah, good quality. Good quality on the stitching. I would say the quality of the jersey is actually a little bit higher than the bibs. I don't know if it's because of the uh, line of material or not, but that's very, very light, very venti. And take a look there to give you an idea of how uh, see-through it would be. I always like to do that. Uh, let's take a look at the pockets on the back. Okay, so we have one, two, three pockets. And I think some of them might have paper inside them still. No, nope, there's like little things in there. Um, no, one of the things I do like about some of the other brands is they'll put like a little piece of fabric on the inside of the pocket that hangs forward so that when uh, you know things are sliding up, they, they can't get out. This doesn't have that, I would improve there. But the middle pocket seems to have compartments. Is that a zipper? What is that? Oh, okay, so we've got two different spots, almost like a waterproof layer. So I'm assuming you're able to put your phone in there, keep it dry. And then do we have access for a wire in here? We do not have access for a wire. For headphones, which is not a big deal in today's day and age when everything's Bluetooth, but it is a nice feature to have. The bottom of the back, really nice gripper on there. That's a sweet little, uh, that's a sweet pattern on there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Looks sharp, I like that. So the main thing is on the back of your jersey, you wanna have a gripper on the bottom so that it doesn't slide up as you ride. So it definitely has that, which is good. And it's, uh, Apparently good for sun prevention. Uh, and the other thing too, it's not necessary to have this. I'm not a big fan of having a liner inside that's that big for the zipper track. It's not really needed, but it comes with it so you're not gonna be wrapping your hair into this. And remember your target market's probably buzzed right down to the wood. And then obviously different color on the, on the arms. So yeah, it's, it's honestly, it's a, it's a quality jersey. Like it feels like it's pretty good. Um, don't not sure what they sell them for, but uh, I think it, I think it's probably going to be a pretty good deal, to be honest with you. Be right in line with like a Sugoi or a Suki or uh, even like Lacol kind of price point. So not bad. White is good. Um, when you do a white jersey, they always look good when they're new. But on on the pockets, I would prefer that to be like a gray to kind of match this because that's where you get all the road spray from and. Uh, that's not gonna look too too good for too long. But otherwise, solid jersey. I think that looks sweet. And I'll just do a quick look at the other one here because uh, I got time, we're 13, 14 minutes in, just to look at the colors. So is it the same jersey? A Little bit bigger, it's kind of got an arrow profile to it. Uh, this, man, tell me that's not Lacole. That's exactly what they're style is very similar actually this jersey's different different rolled neck as well otherwise very similar it's cool you know they've got some cool patterns here you know santic born to cycle it's just it's a cool it's a cool pattern bigger bigger jersey but uh done really well and to boot we've got some reflection on the bottom of the pocket here which is always nice so I just wanted to show that. Leave a comment and I will give one of these guys away to you loyal Mitch on two wheelers. And um, yeah, that's kind of the unboxing on some of the Santic cycling stuff. So look for them in the vlogs and, uh, or portions of vlogs and whatnot. And I uh, just wanted to show that off while I had it here before I uh, throw them in the wash and start 
using some of this stuff. Like I said, I've got, uh, can't decide which one of these I'm gonna give away, but possibly this one, because uh, I think it just looks a little cooler. And um, that'll be it, okay. Thanks for stopping by guys and checking out Santix uh, bibs and jerseys as well as their socks. We'll see you soon, peace.